Welcome to Dow Peace Instructional Videos. Today we are doing white belt kicks, which are spear kick, front snap kick, and modified front snap kick. I'm Instructor Chris, this is Instructor Brad. Now let's begin. So the spear kick, let's take a look at the whole thing. It's a kick typically to the groin, maybe underneath the armpit or underneath the chin. In this case, we're gonna do a low level kick and it's gonna be hitting with the, uh, into the paddle with the ankle or with the shin of, their, of his leg. Go ahead, a couple more please, sir. Nice. Now you notice as he does the spear kick, his spear kick's coming from the back leg, but he's allowing his right arm to go from a back position to a front position as he kicks. Great. Now let's break it down. First of all, we have the elevation of the leg. It can be tabletop flat or higher. From here, extension of the knee, the foot is pointed down, we're hitting with that top of that ankle, wrapped in a lot of connective tissue and or the shin itself. And then back to a rechamber position, which stops other counter kicks and strikes. And if from there, he could also kick again. And then back down into the stance. This, this kick, the spear kick, can be done off the front leg or the back leg. Let's move on to the front snap kick. In the front snap kick from the same side angle, the kick looks very much identical. The leg comes up, it comes into a position where he's got a tabletop, then he extends at the knee. This time though, toes are curled up towards the ceiling, hitting with the ball of the foot. But the foot is still plantar flexed forward and down, so it takes the force um, all the way up the leg in a nice straight line, not flexing the ankle and damaging the ankle. Let's take a look at this kick. He's gonna, Instructor Brad will kick off the front leg and the back leg. So nice high extension and then pushing forward. This time Instructor Brad will do the front snap kick but allow his hips to come underneath so it's an extended front snap kick, getting a little bit more distance. These two kicks are really useful and helpful at, in our typical sparring and self-defense. Now we're gonna take a look at the modified front snap kick at the same angle. Let's say I grab my partner's arm or something. They, I'm kind of close for maybe a front snap kick but I can do a modified front snap kick where we're gonna hit with the heel instead of hitting with the ball of the foot. In this time, this kick, the knee, instead of coming straight forward, is often canted a little bit to the outside, allowing for more absorption of space if I'm really, really close. All right, thank you so much. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day, namaste.